All right, we're going to solve a system of equations using the elimination method. And this is going to be within Delta Math, and it's a level one problem. So they're going to give you equations in standard form, and they're either going to give you where the coefficients are opposites or they're very close to being opposites. So it's real simple to, to change the equation. So example here, we have 5x minus y equals 44 negative three X minus Y equals negative 12. So we can't just add the equations right now because you will not eliminate any of the uh, variables, right? We wanna have opposite coefficients. So the number in front of the variable have to be opposite. We're very close with the one Y, we have negative one Y and negative one Y. So we just need to make one of those positive one Y. So to do that, we've learned that you'd multiply one of the equations by negative one doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by negative 1. So that means I get positive 3x plus 1y equals positive 12. The other equation, I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to multiply by 1, if you will. Everything stays the same. 5x minus 1y equals 44. Now we are set up. We have opposite coefficients for y, right? We have negative 1y and positive 1y. And we know when we add opposites, you get 0. That's what we want. We want 0y here. So when we add these equations, we're going to get 5x plus 3x is 8x plus no y. So I don't have to write anything down there. Equals 44 plus 12 is 56. All right. We're going to divide both sides by 8. So divide by 8. And we're going to get x equals 7. Great. Now we need to know y. So we take that 7 and we're going to substitute it for x into either equation. I'm going to use the top equation. It looks easier to me. No, the deal with the negative. All right. So 5 multiplied by 7 minus y equals 44. Just got to be careful that you substitute for the right variable, right? We solve for x. So I'm substituting for x. All right, so I get 35 minus y equals 44, okay? And then I'm going to, let's go ahead and subtract 35 from both sides. Be careful here. It's negative 1y equals 44 minus 35 is 9, all right? And now we got to multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide both sides by negative 1. So we're actually going to get y equals negative 9. Okay, so our answer, the ordered pair, x is 7 and y is negative 9. So that would be the point of intersection of those two lines. So now in delta math, we have to actually input our answer. So again, I showed you the work here. And for my students in my class, I want you to be writing down the work on a piece of paper. You're going to take the picture and you're going to upload it in Google Classroom. I want the proof of work not just your answers in delta math here. All right, so we type in seven for the X, and then we type in negative nine for the Y. We're gonna submit our answer. It says, are you sure? Yep, we're sure. And boom, we got it correct.